What's up everybody, Unrested back here again today on a very very cold Monday morning here in Japan and today I'm going to be talking about on JFAC ways in which Japan changes you. Now this is going to hold true mostly for those of you who stay here long term um, but it could possibly reign true for some of you who come on a three month tourist visa. I think a lot of change can happen in three months. Uh, that's not completely unreasonable. Um, when I say change, I don't mean like massive major changes, although I imagine that could possibly happen. I have seen uh, massive weight loss when people come here. Um, the amount of walking, the change of diet, uh, the implementing of vegetables and fish and rice uh, tends to change a lot of people's diets as well as not having the availability of uh, a lot of the American snacks uh, that you would eat. Um, as far as other Western countries, I'm not really too sure about which foods are not here, but I'm mostly concentrating on what I know about the differences between here and America. Um, anyway, moving on to ways in which Japan changes you. Well, you're going to find your life starts to become uh, a lot more busy. Um, you pretty much have to set your life up on a schedule because you will most likely be taking public transportation even if you're just coming here on a tour or just a take a look around Japan, you've got to set yourself up with different time schedules. If you're living here long term and you're working a job or going to school, you're going to set yourself up with a uh, bus schedule or a train schedule. Uh, your day will usually rotate around that and usually you'll be walking to there and then walking to your next place, hence the weight loss comes into place. A lot of people tend to lose quite a bit of weight, especially in the first couple of weeks that they're in Japan. The amount of walking you will do will increase yeah, tenfold, especially if you're from America where uh, there's not a lot of public transportation aside from like New York and California. Um, I know when I came from Florida, you pretty much would walk right from your house into your garage into your car and drive to the next place. There was almost no walking at all. Um, I remember when I came here and Japanese friends were really surprised, they'd say, well, wouldn't you, wouldn't you at least walk to like the Konbini or wouldn't you walk to the closest to the convenience store or something like that? And I'd explain to him, I'd say, well, I mean, I'd have to walk three miles out of my neighborhood just to even get to the nearest Konbini. And they're like, what? The, what? And I'm like, yeah, everything's really far apart. Here in Japan, of course, everything's really close together. And that's another funny thing is when people will tell you about how they went on a long, long trip, it'll be like a two-hour trip. And you're like, oh, well, that's like a really quick drive for me in America. Um, and that's another way that things will change you. Your idea of space and travel distance will change as well. For example, you'll take the Shinkansen and everyone will think that that's a really long trip for you or you'll fly all the way out to Hokkaido and people will think, whoa, you went on a really long journey because that's the farthest part north of Japan. Um, but for you, if you're from you know a really big country like America or even Australia, a lot of land mass, um, not such a big deal. So. Uh, your idea of time and travel will start to change quite a bit. Um, your idea of the living space in which you can handle will change quite a bit. Um, I find people from England tend to not mind this as much. I'm guessing that's because houses tend to be a little bit smaller and apartments are smaller in England. Um, or the entirety of the UK, I should say. Um, Americans tend to be more fussy about this as we do tend to have really large places. Um, even our cheapest apartments tend to be quite a bit larger than most expensive city apartments out here in Japan. So, um, if that's if that's a problem for you, don't worry, you'll get used to it very quickly. Of course, um, minor things will change, like uh, you'll start to adapt to the diet, you'll start to find that you do like quite a bit of rice, even if you weren't a big fan of rice or fish. Those of you who write to me, and I do get written to a lot, that they say, oh, I can't eat raw fish, I hate the taste of fish, how will I be able to eat in Japan? you will get used to it. You will start to find things you like. And try to remember, the fish that you eat in your country is not the same fish that they're gonna eat here. It's not served the same way, it's not done the same way, um, there's not the same exact fish, so you're gonna get different types that you never even heard of before. Um, you're gonna be eating fish and all the other different types of sea animals that you were like, well, I didn't even know people ate those. Um, and they're gonna be delicious. Uh, you're gonna find the rice is a different texture. Um, it's not the same as the American rice. I think most of our rice we get from South America. Uh, I could be wrong. Anybody's welcome to change that in the comments below. Um, but you're gonna find even the texture of the rice, the shape, the size, the stickiness, 
um, how it tastes, totally, totally different from America. And you're also going to start to find things you like to mix the food with. Different ways you like to mix it with raw egg, which is totally safe to eat in Japan. Soy sauce on just about everything will start to really change your taste for it. Um, you're going to find Japanese fruits, very different tasting from those in America. Um, far, far sweeter, far, far high quality, but far, far more expensive too. Um, because food becomes so expensive, you will start to notice that you buy less food. Um, you'll start to notice that you eat much smaller portions here. And uh, in the end, you'll find that when you go back to your home country that eating a full-size meal at a restaurant it actually becomes kind of hard. Those are just a few of the ways in which you will be changed by Japan. Of course, there's many traditional experiences, there's uh, many cultural experiences that will change you, and some people would even say spiritual experiences as well. Um, some people have gotten into Buddhism after coming here for a long time, learned more about the many gods of Shintoism, um, or found some sort of spiritual connection with some sort of aspect of Japan or one of the branches of Buddhism, and uh, that's a possibility as well. Anyway, what I'd like to hear now from you guys in the comments below, have you been to Japan and has it changed you or have your studies of Japan changed you? Have anything you've ever learned about Japan changed you in any way and if it has, how has it changed you and how do you think it's affected your life? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Unrested, this is JFEC, until next time.